In this podcast episode, Ben Shapiro discusses the impact of hate speech laws in Europe and the United States. Shapiro mentions that there has been a growing trend in Europe towards criminalizing hate speech. This idea has been pushed by the European Union and has now been implemented in countries like Scotland. The new hate crime law in Scotland criminalizes stirring up hatred based on various factors such as age, disability, religion, sexual orientation, transgender identity, or being intersex. The maximum penalty for such offenses is a prison sentence of up to seven years. The Scottish government claims that this law does not infringe on free speech, as it is meant to protect marginalized groups from discrimination and abuse. However, the broad definitions of terms like threatening and abusive leave room for interpretation and potential abuse of power. The law gives authorities the discretion to determine what constitutes hate speech, which raises concerns about the suppression of free speech rights. Author J.K. Rowling has been vocal in her opposition to the new hate crime law in Scotland. She has criticized the law for prioritizing the feelings of certain groups over the rights and freedoms of others. Rowling argues that the law could have serious consequences for women's and girls' rights and safety, particularly in areas like single-sex spaces and sports. Shapiro emphasizes that the discussion around hate speech laws and cultural identity raises broader questions about the foundations of Western civilization. Historically, Western values like freedom of speech, freedom of religion, and personal dignity have been rooted in Judeo-Christian traditions. These values have provided a moral framework for Western societies and have shaped the development of laws and institutions. However, as Western societies have become increasingly secular, there is a risk of losing touch with the religious roots of these values. The separation of morality from religion can lead to a loss of meaning and vitality in societal norms and principles. Without a grounding in faith, moral principles like justice, freedom, and dignity may become arbitrary and subject to manipulation. In the late 19th century, Friedrich Nietzsche argued that the rejection of God would not lead to a higher form of secular humanism, but rather to a pagan pursuit of power. According to Nietzsche, in a world without God, individuals are left in a cold and meaningless universe where power and will are the only things that matter. This idea has implications for modern debates, such as the argument that freedom of speech is merely a guise for power or that property rights are tools of the patriarchy. Shapiro expands on Nietzsche's argument by pointing out that when a society severs itself from natural law and the belief in a creator, it loses its moral foundation. He argues that while there can be moral atheists, a civilization built on atheism cannot be moral. He questions the value of truth in an evolutionary context, where adaptation and utility are prioritized over fundamental truth. Shapiro criticizes atheist figures like Richard Dawkins, who reject the Bible as a necessary myth, but fail to recognize the utility of religious beliefs in shaping civilization. He questions why Western civilization is discarding its Christian foundations, which have been integral to its development. He argues that without a belief in God and adherence to Christian values, a society risks losing its moral compass and descending into chaos. The White House's recent prioritization of Trans Day of Visibility over Easter highlights the shift away from Christian values in Western society. Shapiro criticizes the administration for promoting progressive values over traditional ones, such as celebrating transgender rights while downplaying religious holidays. He questions the wisdom of replacing Christian values with secular ideologies, warning that it could lead to the erosion of Western civilization. In the Middle East, Israel's recent airstrike targeting Iran's top commander in Syria underscores the ongoing conflict in the region. Shapiro praises Israel for taking action against Iran's proxy warfare, which has threatened Israeli security. He contrasts Israel's decisive response with the Biden administration's more cautious approach to Iranian aggression, highlighting the importance of defending against terrorist threats. However, a tragic incident in Gaza, where an Israeli strike accidentally killed aid workers from World Central Kitchen, has sparked controversy. Shapiro acknowledges the mistake and praises Israel for launching a full investigation into the incident. He contrasts Israel's transparency with Hamas's disregard for human life, 
pointing out that the terrorist group routinely targets civilians and aid workers without consequence. Shapiro believes that the media's coverage of the Gaza incident reflects a bias against Israel, with the focus on the accidental deaths of aid workers overshadowing Hamas's deliberate attacks on civilians. Shapiro criticizes the media for portraying Israel as the aggressor while ignoring Hamas's atrocities. He calls for a fair assessment of the situation and emphasizes the need to hold terrorist groups accountable for their actions. Shapiro also delves into the issue of foreign aid to Ukraine, shedding light on the debate within the Republican Party regarding the extension of military assistance to the country. He emphasizes the importance of strategic decision-making in foreign policy and criticizes the lack of a clear vision in the party's approach to the situation in Ukraine. Shapiro also touches upon the entertainment industry, specifically Shakira's comments on the Barbie movie. He applauds Shakira for her stance on femininity and masculinity, highlighting the importance of gender roles in society. He praises Shakira for her nuanced perspective on the issue and commends her for speaking out against the emasculation of men in popular culture.